Hi there. So on my YouTube channel, many of you know me for hunting and fishing videos and other videos like that, but I'm also a school teacher and I teach fifth grade. And in my class, we start off our school year working on multiplication facts, just to reinforce that with my kiddos. So I've taught my kids how to play uh, a game using a deck of cards to work on their multiplication facts. And I'd like to show you how to do that so you can do this with your kids or maybe yourself if you need to work on multiplication. So here's what we do. I have a deck of cards and I took all the kings out. So I have every other card here and this is how we do them. Every card represents a number. Most of them are very simple. I use my ace as a one and then all the number cards are what they are. When I get to 10, jack is 11 and queen is 12. All right, once you've got it set up this way, put all your cards together and shuffle them leaving the kings out, and I have a deck like this. So I would sit across from a student, and I'm gonna put two cards down, and we're gonna multiply those cards and see who says the answer faster. Now, since I don't have a student in front of me, I'm just gonna demonstrate. So I would do this one, nine times three, and then you say the answer real quick as you can. You can do this as a competition with your kid or just have your kid practice. If you don't have multiplication cards, everybody's got a deck of cards, and this is really easy to do. Let's do a couple other sample ones till we get one that's complicated. Two times, okay, what was a queen? We said queen was 12. It's two times 12, 24, moving on. And this is how I would play this game. We'd flip nine times eight. Six times four, and you can do this you can keep score, make it a competition if your kid thrives on that, or just use it to reinforce these. One standard for fifth grade is that they are fluent with multiplication numbers up to 12. I find kids easily do ones, in fact, we don't even really practice one, two, five, 10, and 11 seem to be easier ones. Kids tend to get stuck on four, sevens and eights tend to be hard and twelves tend to be hard. So those are ones to work on more. Hope this is helpful. Grab a deck of cards and let's work on those skills, folks.